<laughs> okay, it's uh, day 115, June the 12th. <laughs> we just uh, went to the store here in Andover, Maine to resupply. Got some breakfast, pretty good breakfast sandwiches. Um, oh, I'm so ready for this to be done. <laughs> it's getting comical now. Um, here we're here at the Pine Ellis Hostel, which was pretty nice. Got a good night's sleep. Um, today, the goal is to do about 17 miles to Sabbath Day Pond Lean-To. The shelters are called Lean-To's in Maine for whatever reason. So yeah, the first 13 miles of today are supposed to be pretty hard. And then the last four should be a little bit less hard. But yeah, two weeks to go. Two weeks. I'll be sitting on my boat. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Guess we should get going. David, the shuttle driver, is going to drop us back at the trail here in a little bit. And we'll be walking again. <laughs> All right. All right, we just got dropped off at the trailhead. We're climbing Old Blue Mountain. And uh, he told us Old Blue's gonna kick your ass right before we get out of the car. And right from the start, freaking Maine, man. Good view right here, though. Real Blue nice. Hills. That's all there is. Yeah. All right, time to get going. We're about, I don't know, I got 2.7 to the top from the road. We've probably gone 0. 0.5, maybe. I don't know. But, man. All right, heading north. Just summited Old Blue, and now we're heading on down and over to Mount Bemis, or Bemis Mountain, whatever you call it. That's the next one on the list. Make sure I don't kill myself here. Right. Yell yeah, Blue wasn't so bad at the top but getting about two-thirds up was pretty crappy Maine's hard that's my new slogan you can play a drinking game to that <laughs>
All right, everybody. So come up off, uh, down off of uh, Bemis. Bemis. Hiked a mile up into this parking area and ran into new friend Mark. Mark is here waiting. He uh, brought some uh, nice beers. They were good. Trail magic. Bonafide trail angel right here. And I uh, appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much for coming out. You're welcome. And, uh, man, appreciate everything. Uh, well, when you hike back through, I'll be here again. When's that gonna be? <laughs> Never. Plus, plus, he's got the hat. Yeah. He's, rocking, he's rocking the hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, Hayden in the hey, car. Man. Say hi. Hey, what's going on, man? Anyway, Mark, thanks so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've been sitting here on this on this railing for about three hours and we're drinking beer and our new friend Mark came and brought us other beers and we, so we packed these out from Andover and now we're not sure if we want to keep hiking because we had a lot of beer. How you doing? No, we're just uh, hanging out. Yeah, we're supposed to hike three more miles, but we're trying to talk ourselves out of it. Heading north? We are heading north, actually. Yeah. No. She's right ahead of us, though. Yeah. About a day ahead of us. into hey <laughs> hey all right everybody um it's pretty late it's about 9 30 we got into camp kind of late because we hung out in the parking lot for three hours and uh yeah, so we ended up doing 17 miles today and started off a little rough, but finished. It was a relatively easy day today. Um, we actually, we didn't catch up, but Tintin and Pigpen did an extra four miles today and caught up with us. So it was cool to get back with them. And, uh, yeah, we met guy Mark today, who's a subscriber. Um, he's also a trail angel. He's been helping hikers for years. But uh, he lives out here in this area. And uh, he uh, met us at the trailhead and provided us all kinds of goodies. And uh, Mark, man, thanks so much for that. He also uh, gave me his address. I'm going to mail some new shoes to his place, and he's going to get them back to me, you know, at some road crossing in the future. So awfully nice of you, man. Thanks so much. And, uh, yes, we had a couple of longer days coming up. Well, I say longer, for longer for Maine, I guess. Uh, a couple of 20s tomorrow and the next day to get us into Stratton. It's going to be our next resupply, I think, if we can make it that far. But, yeah, Maine is really, it's a beautiful state, but it's pretty rugged. It's kind of, it's hard hiking. Anyway, didn't really film that much again today. 
It's mostly just being in the woods, nothing really to see. Uh, kind of boring, aside from, you know, periodic pop out into some uh, lake views or mountain views, but it doesn't come all that often. Anyway. All right. I'm going to get to bed. Exhausted. See you all in the morning.